Ever felt anger so intense it burned like a wildfire, leaving destruction in its wake? Or maybe it's a slow simmer, a resentment that eats away at you from the inside. Anger is a powerful emotion. It can feel consuming, overwhelming, and even righteous. But left unchecked, it can also be incredibly destructive, damaging relationships, harming our health, and stealing our peace. But here's the good news. You are not a slave to your anger. There's a path to peace. And even in the midst of the storm, and that path is paved with faith. Leave the trap. Come with me, let's rap. Take a trip and we pay. And we'll be right back. And we'll be right yeah. back. Come with me, let's rap. Take a trip and we pay. And we'll be right back. And we'll be right yeah. back. I stand for what you stand for. Uh, hey. Yeah. I get on the mic and I transform. Yeah. Follow me on this world follow tour. Me. The follow asteroid me. that you came to follow. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. In the last two videos, we talked about the science behind anger and how biblical nutrition can nourish our bodies and minds. Today, we're taking it a step further, exploring the spiritual tools that can help us conquer anger and cultivate a more peaceful spirit. Be right back after this short message. A busy warriors out there ever feel like your skin is as stressed as you are between the late nights and let's do this. And the occasional hunger flare-up. It's no wonder our skin can start to show the wear and tear. But glowing, healthy skin isn't just about vanity, is it? It's about feeling confident in the temple that God has given us. It's about practicing self-care, honoring our bodies, and finding little moments of peace in the midst of chaos. That's where Skin Gym comes in. They created an amazing face and body micro water set that's designed to rejuvenate your skin and give you that radiant glow we all crave. This isn't just another skincare gadget. It's a tool that can actually improve your skin's electricity and texture, no matter your skin type. Imagine smoother, firmer skin that looks as vibrant as you feel in the inside. Plus, using it is as simple and enjoyable to incorporate into your much needed self-care routine. So if you're ready to give your skin some love and elevate your self-care game, head over to the Skin Gem website and check out their face and body micro roller set. You can grab it for just 50 bucks or in four easy installments of $12.50. Your skin and your soul will thank me later. Welcome back to the show. In Ephesians 4, 26 through 27, the Bible tells us, in your anger, do not sin. Do not give the devil a foothold. This doesn't mean we'll never feel anger, but it reminds us that we have a choice in how we respond to it. I'm going to help you guys today, and we're going to dive into some tools, spiritual tools for overcoming anger. So shall we? Let me just bring up our PowerPoint for today. Here it is, spiritual tools for overcoming anger. Let's start with my favorite one, and it should be everyone's favorite one, and it's actually an easy one, prayer. Pouring out your heart to God can be incredibly cathartic. It can help you release pent-up emotions. It can help you find clarity to problems, especially when you're feeling stuck, and receive guidance and strength. This is crucial for like overcoming anger. Meditation. Spending time in quiet, re quiet reflection, focusing on your breath in the present moment, which can help calm your mind and body, creating space for peace to enter. As I told you guys before, I do this about five minutes a day. Sometimes I do it more than five minutes a day where, where I would break my sessions into like two sessions where I do it once in the morning, then again, in the at the lunchtime there, uh, part of my uh, day, and if needed, I add a third session where I do five minutes before I go to sleep. Scripture, meditate on verses that speak of peace, forgiveness, and love can transform your heart and mind. 
helping you to choose a more loving response to anger. For example, the Lord's Prayer is a very good one. Uh, Psalm 23, uh, that's the 23rd number of the Psalm, which is uh, one of my favorite ones uh, because it was given to me dearly by my grandmother uh, who would, told, would tell me, especially when I was deployed overseas to, uh, to Iraq, she said, like, whenever you're feeling like you're about to lose it, you know, use the 23rd number of Psalm. And I'm going to talk more about, about that in a little bit. Uh, Philippians 4 and 6. These are all great examples of scriptures to meditate on and just uh, reflect on peace, forgiveness and love that can help transform your heart and mind. Uh, community. Getting around a, a good faith community or a spiritual mentor can provide a safe space to share your struggles, receive encouragement and learn from others. Uh, when you get around a faith community, people who are like minded, people who share the same values, same morals, what you learn you learn that like there's nothing you cannot say, nothing you you cannot do around these people where you won't uh, be able to like, you know, get get your learning for life right there. You know, you get you gain wisdom, you gain you gain some um, inspiration, you gain some encouragement. And then there's an opportunity also to like bounce your own experience um, right back into the to the group. If it's a group or, you know, or bounce some ideas off like that mentor to help you grow. All right. All great stuff. All great stuff. Now, I was going to share a personal story, you know, about a time when I struggled with my own anger and, and how, how my faith overcome it. Uh, so before I head um, overseas to uh, support the Iraq war, when I was still in the military, I had a, a real bad problem with authority, okay? And my go-to response was anger. <laughs> like, and I don't know if this like just increased after basic training or if or it's just something that like just stemmed from like my childhood trauma from being as abused as a kid growing up by my father. And, and I had all this pent up aggression. And whenever I would get around an authority figure, I feel like the need to like, just like lash out when something didn't go my way or I didn't want to hear it. Well, <laughs> Hey, the military couldn't correct it. I went overseas with that same anger, but that was a dangerous place to go to take that to. So it was my, my grandmother who reminded me like, Hey, when able to, you know, uh, control yourself and you need an anchor, you better, you better get, you better get, get somewhere in a, in a safe space. And, get into the the 23rd number of some and god bless my my grandmother's heart because it started working for me it started working for me because I, what i noticed was it wasn't the the anger as the primary emotion there was something underneath that that primary emotion of uh, anger that was really the problem you know it could have been sadness it could have been confusion it could have been embarrassment. And, and a lot of times when you when you get in correction from an authority figure, from, you know, you, you don't want to look like a and I, that embarrassment will just create this anger inside of me. And then and then I lash out. But once I started reading the 23rd number of Psalm, it was it was something that helped me to like start like overcoming that that feeling of embarrassment. And, and started realizing that like, okay, well, I gotta respect this guy, you know, whoever this guy or girl in front of me leading me, not only for the for the benefit of uh, of them, but you know, for the benefit of the fact that like there's something much bigger than me that's that's guiding me and leading me besides still waters and leading me to a place of peace. And 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 um and I, I shouldn't want to embarrass myself and everybody else for how uh, on how I respond. Especially, you know, my, you know, it, it, so, it took me a while, but eventually, you know, with consistency, I was able to like, you know, find, make peace with, you know, within myself and it start, it started, um, you started making forgiveness to the people who I felt was wrong in me. But then I realized like, you know, they're not wrong with me. The problem, the problem stems from like, you know, childhood. And so I have forgiveness to, to my father. You know, uh, my, my physical father. OK. And then it required me to, like, you know, apologize, too, for like the way I reacted it, to a lot of people I had like reacted wrong to. So. So it's very important, you know, on, on how we respond. You know, we, we just don't you know, we don't want to 
you know, we don't want to like damage important. We don't want to damage the most important relationship. And that's with ourselves. And that's with uh, the father, the, the, the spiritual father. OK, so remember, Transformers, uh, anger doesn't have to be your master. All right. Through faith, you can find the strength to overcome it. It's a journey. It's not a destination. And with every step you take towards peace is a victory worth celebrating. If you if you struggle with anger like the way I used to. And this 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 been over 10 years plus, you know, know that you're not alone. OK. You know, there's there's people I still, you know, run into who ask me how I did it. And so that lets you know that you're not alone in a faith community. I'm a spiritual mentor. You know, I, you know, I, it's importantly, turn to God in prayer. He is always there to listen to, to comfort you and to guide you towards a more peaceful and joyful life. He's, he's available 24-7 whenever you need him, 365 days a week. OK, and you can be anywhere to call out to him next week. Uh, well, not necessarily next week, but in the upcoming episode, we're going to have an incredible guest joining us. She's an expert on toxic anger. Doc, but, uh, she's going to share her insights and strategies for understanding and overcoming anger in today's volatile culture. You won't want to miss this. OK, in the meantime, I love to hear from you guys. Share your experiences with anger in the comments below. I want to know how has your faith helped you to overcome challenges what tools and practices have you found most helpful uh, during this journey together? And we want to continue to support each other on this journey towards healing and transformation. OK. And I'm going to put up once again, just your guys' call to action. I think it's important that you guys have a visual of this. You know, it's good to hear from me, but it's also good that you see it. Again, reiterating, join us in the next installment with Dr. Bradley Smallwood. Subscribe for more inspiration and guidance. Like and share this video to spread the message of hope. Until next time, many blessings, peace, and lots of love. I stand for what you stand for. I'm at your door like the landlord. I can see the future, yeah, I fast forward. I get on the mic and I transform. Follow me, I'm in rare form. Follow me on this world tour. The asteroid that you can't avoid.